A political analyst believes that Senator Bongbong Marcos will benefit most from the vice presidential race. Nel Maribuhok will tell us why. Senators Bongbong Marcos Jr., Chis Escudero, and Camarines Sur Representative Lenny Robredo showed a close fight based on the previous vice presidential survey of two agencies. But in the recent survey, Marcos is ahead on the ratings among the vice presidential candidates. According to political analyst Ramon Casiple, Marcos has benefited most from the sharing of votes of the three anti-Marcos candidates. The nature of the dynamics of the vice presidency ay yung Marcos, anti-Marcos. Problem doon ang anti-Marcos. Kasi sila, tatlo silang nagkiklaim noon eh. Si Chiti Scudero, si Alan Peter Caetano, at si Lenny Rubedo. Efekto noon, nahati yung vote. Ironically, baka namusot pa si Marcos dahil dyan. Despite this, expect some changes in the vice presidential ratings as a result of the recent debate held last Sunday. May movement, pero I doubt kung matatamaan si Marcos doon. Ano? Eh, kasi yung nature ng base ni Marcos, matigas yun eh. Royalist. Pero paano? Meanwhile, Pulse Asia survey shows that Duterte tops in the presidential polls. Poe and Duterte got the biggest ratings from National Capital Region. Concurrently, VP Binay has also an advantage in some parts of Luzon. But Rojas received biggest ratings among candidates in vote-rich Visayas region, and Mindanao regions remains loyal to Duterte. Casiple says, President Aquino's campaign for Liberal Party standard bearer Mar Rojas was not effective enough. Nabilang ngayon na siya pa nung nag-announce si Mar Rojas ng kanyang kandidasi at nagsabi na rin in the same occasion si Presidente na kandidato niya. In-endorso niya na noon. Tumaas ng kunti, si Mar noon, na siguro maroon 78 percent. That's it. But Malacanang disagrees with Casiple's statement. According to Presidential Communications Secretary Sani Coloma, the final decision of Filipinos will be known during the day of the elections. In connection with this, some analysts advise the candidates on the upcoming presidential debate to broaden their platform for the country and to not shift to personal attacks. Nel Maribuhok reporting for Y News.